Hi everyone, welcome back to The Puttering Penman. Today we'll be doing a review of the Lamy Studio LX All Black Fountain Pen. Um, this is a special edition from 2019. Um, as I'm recording this video in 2020, and I purchased this pen in 2020, and as of recording this video, um, there are still several retailers that have this pen available. Um, here is the, let's start out with how the, the packaging of the pen. So the packaging came in, you know, the standard Lamy cardboard box. Um, Lamy 2000 actually comes in the same box here. So here's this cardboard box. Then opens up like this. And then inside you've got a you know, warranty policy, a brochure of Lamy's other um, pens pen came in this plastic sleeve. There was a converter in, up here, which is now in the pen. And then here is the Lamy Blue Ink cartridge that comes with um, all their cartridge converter pens. So you can, you know, it's packaging is the same as the Lamy 2000, nothing too surprising there. Here's the pen itself. So um, it's a all, pretty much all black pen except for the little Lamy logo right here, which is in a gray color. The end caps are flat and black. They're a shinier black here, whereas the rest of the pen is a matte black. Um, I, I, it's some sort of brushed metal, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's not slickery, it's not slip, um, and it feels pretty nice. The pen is like a propeller design here. It's also shiny. It's actually very easy to use, probably one of the best clips um, in my collection. And then this pen, you can uncap it, it's a snap cap to reveal this uh, steel nib. I've got a fine nib on it. It is also black, like the name of the pen would imply. Um, this is actually the same type of nib that you get on a Lamy Safari and a couple of other Lamy pens, um, which was a nice bonus for me in buying this pen because I plan on taking this pen to work with me. And so if somebody picks this pen up and writes with it and destroys the nib, the nib is replaceable. It's something like um, 13 to $15 to replace the nib if you buy it from Lamy. And... You know, or if you just say like you bought the fine nib, but you want to swap it out to a medium or broad or italic, you can do that very easily. So that's nice for this pen. One interesting thing about this pen compared to the other Lamy Studios is that this grip section here is not metal. So most Lamy Studios, the grip section is chrome, so it's kind of slippery to use. Um, and some people don't like it. It's actually probably the biggest complaint of the Lamy Studio. So this one is, again, like that same brushed metal um, material, so it's not slippery at all. You know, you could write for a long time here and not have an issue. They have a couple of non-limited edition pens that use the same sort of grip. Um, one of them is like a gray color, and I think there might be a couple others. Um, the gray color didn't really appeal to me, so this all-black pen was pretty nice. This pen is cartridge converter, um, uses a Lamy converter. This converter is actually different than the one that comes on the Lamy Safari. Um, you know, it operates basically the same. I think the only difference is the way it, it fits into the pen is just slightly different. I don't think you can use, swap the converters between the pens, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know. So let me tell you about the size and weight of this pen. So the body of this pen alone weighs 20 grams. The cap weighs uh, 10 grams, which is nice. The um, length of this pen when it's capped is 137 millimeters. The uh, grip section here um, can vary depending on where you hold the pen, but somewhere right around here, the grip is about nine millimeters in diameter. The unposted length of the pen is 128 millimeters, and the posted length of the pen is 153 millimeters. 
One thing I should note is that this pen actually clicks when you post it. So that was the click. Um, so it's posted very securely and you can actually rotate the, the cap on the pen when it's posted and um, it's not gonna scratch, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's do a quick writing sample. So, like I said before, this is a fine steel Lamy nib. It's, um, the nib is uh, not quite as wet as I would prefer. It's a pretty nice nib. I, I, it's basically the same nib I have on my Lamy Safari, but for some reason I like the Lamy Safari nib a little bit more, so I may uh, swap the two. Um, the Safari nib just writes a little wetter. I think it may just be the, the way that I've... Um, just that I've used the Safari more often, or just a slight difference in quality control. Um, but either way, it's nice that I can just swap the nib out here. Um, this pen is pretty nice. I plan on taking it to work. I've only had it for about three weeks, so it's a little hard for me to judge how often I'm going to use it so far. Um, I don't think it's going to be like my favorite pen in my collection, but it'll probably be um, a pen that gets inked you know, every few months and I use it for a month before cleaning it out again. Um, overall, really nice looking pen. I wish the nib was a little bit wetter, which maybe it will get wetter if I use a different ink. Um, but the way it is right now, um, just a really good pen that I'll take to work and use every now and then. Um, as far as cost, I got this pen for, I think it was $139. Um, which, again, is more expensive than a regular studio, which I think is around $80. Um, and the, you know, the main reason is because it's a limited edition, and I, I thought it was worth paying that price just for this color and the grip being not chrome. Um, so, you know, for $140, you're kind of comparing this now to even a Lamy 2000, Pilot Vanishing Point, Pilot Custom 74, um, all great pens, and I think, in my opinion, having used all of those pens, I think they're about equal, so um, kind of up to you to decide which one you would like of the bunch. So that's the review of the Lamy Studio LX All Black. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.